So, hello everyone. My name's, what we're going to look at is a little problem with an OXA tool post holder. I just got the tool post holder. It comes from Char's. Anyway, my name's Marlon. The channel is Old Fart Hacks, and you're all out there in Cyberland. So, hello, Cyberland. Anyway, here's the problem. Uh, by the way, this is one of the ongoing projects I have. This is a hinge pin for a uh, Lincoln Navigator power running board, and I'm altering it to put Zerk fittings on it, and there's a little, you can see a grease hole, or mind you, I tried drilling this by hand, but you can see a line here for grease, and then right about there is the hole to let the grease out. I'm putting one in on the other side. This pin's a scratch when I'm using for testing, but anyway, the problem I ran across is um, there are four screws in this. This is the number two, two, two pulse holder out of the 250 series. And it's used for boring bars. Well, I thought, hey, you know, I need to do a little milling in the lathe. So I'll use the boring bar holder and, you know, the x-axis. Or, you know, the, I guess, ah, axis is axis. Anyway, you know, you have the left-right axis as the, or, you know, the carriage, the cross slide. And then you have the z-axis as the... The regular carriage and then of course this provides then the x-axis or y-axis take your pick anyway rap battling babbling on the the uh, zero or 250-002s for the oxa have a groove in them right here which allows you to put in a boring bar and clamp it in place so the problem i'm running into is this i went to clamp the, that uh, pin in there and as you saw me playing with it, the first screw turned smoothly, no problems. And these two screws turn smoothly, but this one binds up big time. Notice, for instance, if I let, you know, do that, this one also wiggles. What it comes down to, I don't know if you can see that wiggle or not on the camera, but it is substantial. And what it comes down to is the threads on the screw are not bad to speak of. I mean, they're screw-shaped threads and so on. And in fact, when this came to me, this one was sticking up higher. But the hole here is misthreaded. So what this video is all about is even the best quality of these things, they're still coming out of China. And so you really should inspect the heck out of every last piece. I didn't actually check the screws on this when I first got it. And I giddily set it aside. You've seen, if you watch all the other videos in the series, you will have seen that one. So this now goes back to, I got to talk to Shars, who's the people that sold this. Their, their quality is better than all the others, but still, clearly, there's some issues. So just Cavarot and Pator, if you know what that, you know, the old buyer beware thing. Um, even from one of the better people out there, like Shars, you can still get some <laughs> Chinese junk. Anyway, I hope you all have a good time. Be safe. Be careful. Don't get caught. All will be good. Bye-bye for now.